Aloha, good morning, welcome to Kaho's Corner. This early Monday morning, beginning of the work week. Uh, thank you for joining me. Hope you guys had a blessed weekend. Again, and you know, whatever you you uh, did this, this past weekend, rather just relaxing, spending time with family and friends, or even working. Um, whatever it may be, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope it was time well spent. And now we're back to starting the work week again. Uh, the days just keep flying by. Uh, before you know it, we'll be in the holiday season. Uh, so thank you again for joining me. You know, yesterday at um, church service, I talked a little bit about uh, the moonrise. Um, I've, I've never seen uh, something that's unbelievable these past few uh, night, early evening, maybe I think Friday I noticed it. I'll start anywhere between 6 and 8. And as you look east, you can just see the glare of the moon behind the clouds as it was coming up and just the full moon rising. It was unbelievable. You could see the outline of Mauna Kea, um, Hualalai, if you look towards the west. But um, and some people say there's no God, but when you look at something like that, we talked about that a little bit yesterday. And being out here on the ranch in the dark, you can just get the full, um, full effect on the rising of the moon. And it doesn't take too long, uh, maybe five, ten minutes. It's above the clouds. It's setting up in the sky and, and throughout the night uh, you can just see that bright glare through your curtains or, but uh, it's, it's unbelievable how God had set everything in place um, how things happen uh, and just to read about him in, in his word and actually see things happen um, that it's, it's unbelievable so I hope wherever you were if you noticed it uh, he was blessed to just just see that happen. So um, yesterday, Kahu Keith brought us a message, uh, talked a lot about the foundation and how we start um, our foundation uh, on learning how to trust God. Um, if we don't have a firm foundation, which is Jesus himself, like Kaukid was telling us that uh, how we read the Bible, how we carry ourselves, um, there's no, um, it's not stable because our foundation is not built on Christ alone. And Paul talks about that in Ephesians, uh, in all of his letters, uh, even Peter. But yeah, it was just something that, um, I took to heart because it's a daily, uh, a daily battle. Uh, how we carry ourselves, um, you know, the people we meet, because uh, we're constantly going through conversations with people, different people, people we haven't met before, people we know about all kinds of things. And if our foundation is not solid uh, on how we carry ourselves, then things can fall apart. Uh, when you see Jesus, read about Jesus in the Gospels, he came across all different types of people in all different types of situations, but he knew exactly what to say, how to say it, and say it at the right time. Um, and there was all kinds of people, people that he, he helped along the way, he encouraged, and people he, he corrected a lot uh, that disagreed with him. Um, and Jesus knew how to how to do it all. Uh, if you read, just go through the Gospels, um, um, and that's what we gotta do. Uh, sometimes we just fly off the hook. We say things that we can't take back no more. I've talked about this a lot um, in the past, and I'm gonna keep talking about it because it's every day is a new day. Uh, people we meet, we won't know who we'll meet, uh, what kind of conversations we have, but 
and how long it'll be. So you gotta maximize out time, either by encouraging somebody, correcting somebody, even if we don't like, you know, doing that kind of conversation, correcting, but it's gotta get done. But what we say and how we say it uh, is a big difference. And in the book of Proverbs, uh, there's 31 chapters. I mean, in almost every chapter, there's always something about our lips, our mouth, what we say, how we say it, and we can gain wisdom from it. Uh, it is a book of wisdom. Um, if we gain knowledge and we understand what we gain, then we come, become wise. It can be just on, on having a conversation. Um, and I just wanted to hit one passage out of chapter 15 because today is the 15th day of August uh, we got 31 days in August 31 chapters um, and sometimes this is good to reflect back and God will show you something on that day if you don't have anything to to read um, open the book the book of Proverbs see what's on the 15th day of the month read it um, and be inspired by it. Let the Holy Spirit inspire you. But in chapter 15, uh, there's like six or seven verses that talk about what we say, how we say it. Um, so that's got to tell you something. When we get into a conversation with someone, we really got to do a lot of thinking uh, on what we're going to say before we say it. Um, but in verse 1 in chapter 15, Solomon writes, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Um, so a conversation can go either two ways. Uh, it can be a positive conversation or it can be a negative. Uh, it can be, you can encourage or you can confront somebody. Um, but like I said, what we say and how we say it, it's going to make a big difference. Um, you know, again, we've seen churches, I've seen churches separate because of what was said. Um, you know, marriages break up, friendships break up because of what was said. Years and years can go by and nothing gets settled. Um, you know, but Jesus says we got to forgive if he forgave us for our sins. Um, then whoever said anything bad to us or whatever it may be, we've got to forgive them. And vice versa, if we said something that was, you know, totally out of whack to somebody in years, we've got to go and go ask for forgiveness. That's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to settle things. Um, so we really, really got to pick our words um, wisely and use them. You know, again, a harsh word will stir up anger. Um, but there is a good way of settling some bad things. And, you know, you just got to pray before you have these conversations with people. Uh, and then healing can start because if you let something that was said to you uh, go unresolved, um, you just going just the anger gonna keep stirring up in you. There's not gonna get any, uh, you're not gonna have anything accomplished, and you can move forward. Um, so, <clears throat> if there's anything in your life as well as mine. Um, You know, you got to pray about it and you got to go back and settle things. You don't have to be best friends, or, but at least you got all of that anger off of you. And then you can move forward. Uh, and then in look in verse 2. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge acceptable, but the mouth of fools spouts folly. That's two back-to-back -back verses that talk about how we speak. Uh, verse 1 and verse 2. So if we wise enough and think about what we're going to say, um, then it makes what we know acceptable. Um, but if we just fly off the hook, 
uh, and say things that we later regret, uh, it doesn't show much wisdom uh, to the person that you're addressing. Uh, it just, like I said, back in number one, it just stirs up anger. Uh, so I just hope as you go through your week, certain people you meet, or certain things that you got to settle with people you know, that, um, you know, God will give you the right words, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will give you uh, the right things to say, uh, and then can get healing, restoration, peace. Uh, all that comes from from being wise about how you're going to approach something. Uh, I'm still learning this. Uh, but if we can just stop and think before we just jump in uh, and say something later regretted, we save ourselves a lot of heartache, a lot of lost time, and um, a lot of patching to do. So I just pray that if there's something you that's holding you down, that's got to get settled, I pray that God give you the wisdom. To approach it again, uh, just in mind that restoration got to take place. Healing can take place after that, and, and you can move on. So um, have a blessed week, a safe week, um, and just be blessed. Aloha.